Hey Gavox here, so today I want to go over Madden 19, we're going to focus a lot on Mutt gameplay, we'll talk a little about franchise, although here I'll finish my franchise thought, it's the same thing as what had happened in the last few years, Madden franchise, it was trash, uh, long shot was trash this year, so I, I, did, I covered those enough, right? Madden 19 though, right? It, it, it was it was solid, I don't know if that's a great statement, right? Because, you know, as I'm watching this fifth overtime here, it's crazy. The unbalanced gameplay is Madden's problem every year, right? I don't know if I played a Madden that's been balanced. And I don't really want to show off gameplay. I could edit in some Madden 19 gameplay. You could see it. But it's just going to be basically Pat Sales, Crossers as a lot of the offense. 19 was was a la was a passing year because the run didn't work that well. Run was The thing is people don't remember. Run was as powerful in 19 as 20 because of the bad run mechanics and run defense. But... In 19, they allowed you to man up your safeties and they'd attack the run. And that literal change, that little, little thing where you can man up guys and they play the run well at safety, changed the entire game and made it into a passing game. But the problem is the passing game was a lot of gun bunch again. So the meta was pretty stale. It was gun bunch with playmaker. Luckily in Madden 20 or unluckily, playmaker wasn't brought in until late. Not a lot of, you didn't see a lot of people use it. You did see a little bit of it later in the year, but it wasn't that into the meta because it wasn't really shown through the entire fall winter season. And then the competitive just kind of kept with their run games the whole time. So you didn't see it as much, although it was as powerful in 20 as it was in 19. I think it did videos on it. We're going to go through the lineup here. So unbalanced gameplay major issue remember when quarterbacks used to be run back and throw out the back foot that's like you needed a bazooka this year to do it last year you could just do it all the time they ended up nerfing that they you know brought in some accuracy penalties this year 21's getting some more for dashing dead eye but we also had a lot of issues with uh you know contain blitzes in 19 also to, to balance it out the thing is, in 19, they actually cared and they patched them. 20, we didn't see much care. So, like, a lot of people will compare 19 and 20 gameplay, and some people will say, hey, I like 19 better because of the passing here. Even though the passing reads, you know, it wasn't that great of a pass pocket. You didn't have to make a ton of it because you just waited to see which way the user uh, went and which way he followed on your crossers. And I was like, huh, all right, that's not so bad. So there were obviously unbalanced gameplay, and that was an issue, right? linebackers still jump like crazy for picks and you know the shaz was a demon all year if you unlocked him early one of those powerful cards in mutt history early on the card art didn't even load half the time <laughs> it's so funny right they put all this money in like card art and like uh doing this stuff and like oh it's just not gonna load unless you unless you load all the way into him right jamal adams so Unfortunately, cat stats were still capped at 99, so it wasn't very an ex it wasn't an exciting year for that kind of stuff because I didn't go over 100. It's not like those old Maddens we reviewed for that. Now I got it all to load once I get into the thing. It is kind of cool. Some of the card art was nice, but a lot of the same faces here, a lot of the legends. Obviously, being a Steelers guy, you're going to see me use all the Steelers, of course. Lawrence Taylor still top-end card, so we see a lot of the same faces year over year. So it is a little bit, when you look back on it, you're like, huh. It wasn't that amazing because it was the same shit. Like, the only one, Jerome Bettis was hot. Loved him. This card was amazing. If you take a look at him uh, with his stats here, he did end up with 98 speed because, you know, uh, they did have speed chems last year with Sprinter. You see it on him. Half the things aren't loading on the screen, so you can't even see it. Um, but, uh, yeah, Mike Vick, still the quarterback. It's it's kind of crazy year to year. I mean, obviously the same players are the greatest of all time year to year, but I wish they would bounce out some current day players a little bit better. Like Juju being bounced out against T.O., well, that's not a bad idea late in the year. Right? Herman Moore was in the squad. He was in the game this year. Megatron was still there. For some reason, I guess I don't have Moss. But overall, I thought the content when 18 was good. Uh, like 20, it didn't die as much as 20. You see, we still have position here. It was in 19, but it was a very big down year. And it was kind of, tr it was on our downward trend from, you know, the peaks of 15, 16, 17 off season content to 18, 19, 20 and 20s. I, I hope 20 is the bottom of it, right? I hope 20 is the bottom position heroes. They were nice, right? The current day players getting high overall cards, 99 overalls to help balance them against the legends of the game. Please bring those back. Please balance current day players against them. We had the Mutt Master weekly, daily a promo objectives too. Those weren't really anything special either, right? We, we saw those again in 20. and Maybe you can blame 20 more for that. And I'll do that in my 20 retrospective video over 19. But it is interesting to go back, kind of see the roots of it. But this stuff didn't really change. And, and, and 19 did have some nice house rules though, right? We, we had it introduced this year, which was the biggest uh, and best thing introduced into Mutt. 
We had that, uh, I don't know if you guys saw that, Gronk on my squad was free from house rules. Like, the rewards were crazy at some points. Even though the house rules could have been done better, they repeated a few. At least they gave us some decent rewards for it. Like, this was a great tight end retirement Gronk for free. Sure, he wasn't the fastest, but he is tall. He can catch, and, uh, you know, he can put playmaker on him, too. I do, let's take a look at uh, player options upgrade. Let's take a look at what you can upgrade, right? You have the T chemistry slot. T. Sorry, that was really weird. Uh, you could you could change your chemistry here, so it's it's a lot of the same menu choices as twenty. Twenty was a little bit more in depth, of course, but uh, legend chemistry wasn't fun at all. I mean, you basically had to go legend chemistry because it added on speed. It gave you plus one speed, so basically ever used that. And we have a little bit of that this year with Sprinter, but you know, chemistry. I think it's it, it's better that they don't put speed into chemistry, in my opinion, going forward. Outside of theme teams, which you need it to balance out, like the silvers, you're gonna start at guard. Um, I don't think you should put speed on just regular uh, chemistry. So overall, like 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 we know, contact before the Super Bowl, good. Past it, not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. The chems were overpowered. Like we, we've, we've seen before, some of the uh, secure tacklers, that kind of stuff. Some of it was a little too powerful. It was ended up being two-hand touch for a lot of it. Out my way, secure tackler, secure tackler. You throw a secure tackler on a lot of your squad here. It was it was a little bit of restriction earlier in the year um, until, you know, kind of later in the year where we got secure tackler on our safeties and, and whatnot. But uh, because the 18 was basically two-hand touch with secure tackler, um, but uh, that's what it is. So... Overall, the level system, level master, they were pretty good. Packs, I guess we can open some packs here. I got some unopened packs. They weren't that good again. I mean, I think the low point in Madden was 17, 18 packs. 19, they started to do a little bit decent. We, we saw the odds in the packs. They ended up being okay overall. These free Twitch packs are always nice to uh, kind of go through and open. So, they were fine. Ooh, EA Access Award packs. What team are we going to open? Let's just do our team. Our team is great. Steelers. But yeah, looking back at 19, it doesn't really fill me with nostalgia like the earlier ones do. Maybe because it's so recent. Maybe this video is kind of rehashing recent history. Not as good an idea as like the older videos. Because 19, we've been there, we've done that, and it's still fresh in our mind. The pain of off-season content still there. The pain of having to play it. Of having very much a bunch crosser uh, type of year is still there. Go Get a gold or cut in half. I like that. So overall, what were your feelings? Solo battles were just, you know, it was what it was. Same thing with, uh, I think solo battles in, was, no, they weren't new. I think FIFA had them before them, but I think solo, bat, solo battles might have been new in 19. Weekend League was carrying over from 18. Another 80, okay. Uh, but yeah, franchise, eh. The UI, eh. oh damn, I think Tampa Bay just scored. Yeah, Tampa Bay just scored in that fifth overtime. So uh, update for you. That's crazy, five OTs, insane. But yeah, otherwise, like, the funny thing was, like, there was a lot of errors this year, right? This is the reason I named my team ISP, right? So it's named ISP because it is a meme. You know, check your ISP. That's the issue with the game. And, and it really, we, we've seen a lot of problems here, too, uh, in 20 with, with the servers also. Disconnect issues, that stuff. Um, so, in the end, wow, I actually got some uh, cards I'm not using, 99s. But fun, fun, fun. Artwork, you know, I think 20's artwork was better than 19. I do not like these Ultimate Legends at all. Alright, just looking at Ultimate Legends. Position heroes are always neat, a little sparkly there. Uh, we haven't seen those. You know, what was this? Player Spotlights. God, I almost forgot about Player Spotlights. Yeah, they ain't bad. They ain't bad. Going down through the artwork. Yeah, Player Spotlight artwork I think was the best. Free Agent promo was okay. Came chance of power-ups. Team builders. I don't mind it. I hope football offside is more relevant going into 21. Not just the kicker and punter promo. Yeah, overall artwork. I, don't, I feel like artwork at 19 was probably one of the worst years. I think 20 was a step up on 19 overall for artwork too. 21 looks to be pretty bad though. With that with that half filled. We'll see what they end up doing if they end up going with that or not. But uh, it is what it is. That's my thoughts on 19. Overall the year. If I were to give it a rating... Like, out of 10, I think gameplay was about a 4. Mutt, I think, it would have been higher, but the offseason kind of killed it. So, I get like a 7.7 .7 right there for Mutt. Franchise 1, 
Uh, servers were like a three because we, we had so many disconnects. At least we were able to do some like flash sales in 19. 20, they had to get rid of flash sales because the servers always crashed, sadly. Oh, oh, sets, sets, sets. Yeah, I saw that note. We definitely want to go through sets. It was, you know, pretty similar to previous years. Nothing here too crazy. So we're all looking through 19. It didn't really, like, some cool things. But the overall framework of Mutt outside of, I'd say, the biggest thing, which were the house rules, didn't really change. The backbone, the skeletal structure, the skin, and the muscles were mostly the same. A little bit of a lip injection for house rules, which were cool, but that's my opinion. What do you think on, 20, on 19, I mean? We'll do a 20 retrospective here soon. Give our final thoughts on the year of Madden and uh, Ultimate Team as we move into 21. That's it for the video. Thanks for watching Call Action. See you tomorrow.